Are you ready for Christmas? I know I am. I've decked my halls, I've jingled my bells, I've, uh... <laughs> Bulls. I guess I was implying that. And, uh, I've felized my Navidad. Uh, my chestnuts are roasted into oblivion. <laughs> Wait a minute, wait a minute, well, let's see. Does it actually, does it work? Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. No, Christmas, of course, it's, it's the week before, it's the, last, it's the last week before Christmas. It's Christmas the weekend, it's Saturday, isn't it? Saturday or Friday? Saturday. Saturday or Friday? Is anybody awake? It's Friday? Saturday. Was it that difficult? Do you know how many pieces of mail were actually delivered today? Let me tell you, this is scientifically accurate. 53 gazillion. <laughs> With all those packages around, the post office are bound to uh, lose a few hundred. It's just going to happen. So keep that in mind, my uh, friends and family, when you don't receive anything from me. <laughs> it's not true. I send out a lot of gifts during the holidays. Every year, I end up putting so many stamps on packages that the impossible happens. I get tired of licking stuff. <laughs> Is my uh, Christmas ball dangling too low? <laughs> all right. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to the... All right, hold on. I'll put it on again. All right, I'll wear it for a bit. We'll see how it goes. It's a because of this white around here, you can actually see that I've got a head. person I know that puts on a Santa hat and looks even more creepy. <laughs> Put the presents in the basket. <laughs> this is from Lee in Oahu in Hawaii who says, uh, hey Craig, do you like Christmas music? You look like you hate it. Ah <laughs> uh, hell! My best man. I'm doing my best. Look at me. I got the hat on. I got the ball by my ear. I got my CBS Christmas tree. Oh, the big moment's coming. <laughs> anyway, I still haven't got a few people Christmas presents. Because what? I don't know what you get. A gay robot skeleton with no genitals. Bulls. Yeah. <laughs> All right, then. All right. Okay. Don't, don't look. I'm going to show everybody else what I've actually got you for Christmas. So look the other way. Yes. Good. Thank you. All right. He's looking the other way. I've actually got Jeff a present for Christmas. <laughs> Turn your ears off a minute. <laughs> They're actually testicles. <laughs> They're testicles from a kangaroo. No way. Hey! <laughs> Merry Christmas, buddy. Now, uh, you know where you keep these, don't you? In your pants. In your pants. <laughs> That's right. But then, if you keep them in your pants, we won't be able to enjoy the hilarity of them. <laughs> No, no. So what I thought I'd do is uh, we could leave them on your cup, which you mysteriously never drink anything out of. Plunk. <laughs> the hell is that meant to me? What is that? Plunk. <laughs> oh, Balls. Yeah, all right. I love you, man. Plunk. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, all right, yeah, okay, all right. Anyway, stick those in your pants. In, uh, in your, your pants. pants. And Merry Christmas, buddy. I love you, man. It's uh, the day before Christmas Eve. So it's the Christmas Eve. No, it's the day before the day before Christmas Eve. So it's the Christmas Eve. -y. It, look, it's the last hump day before Christmas. There. Twas the hump day before Christmas. And all through the show, Charlie Sheen's in the bedroom with hookers and blow. Oh.
twas the, no, we can do better. Twas the hump day before Christmas, and all through LA, everyone's asking, is Ferguson gay? <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> Uh, I'll do what. No, Twas the hump day before Christmas. Uh, to tell you the truth, I'm glad it's not snowing because we don't have a roof. <laughs> That's no kidding. <laughs> Christmas is very special here in Hollywood, a very special time. When people wish you a happy holidays here in Hollywood, 5% of them actually mean it. <laughs> If you haven't started your Christmas shopping now, uh, don't worry, there's plenty of time. <laughs> no, you better start worrying. You're f***ing no. no, The shopping malls are a nightmare this week. A lot of people, you know, prefer Christmas shopping online, and I understand, because I like to shop wearing nothing but my underpants. <laughs> That's why I always go to the mall. I, I, actually, I buy most of my gifts from Amazon. No, not the website, the actual rainforest. <laughs> Nothing says Christmas cheer like a box full of poisonous spiders. <laughs> That's stupid. If you have to go to the mall, here's a trick to avoid the crowds. Go late, very late, like maybe after the mall's closed. All you need is a brick and a getaway car. And if you don't have time to go shopping, you can always improvise. Merry Christmas, honey, I got you two presents, macaroni and cheese. Think about it. you know that store that's always open late is the 99 cent store, which is perfect for Christmas shopping because <laughs> 99 cents. And who doesn't love Ukrainian chocolate? What did we learn on the show tonight, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, I'm I'm sorry. I didn't know. Well, I didn't know. All right. Well, I'll, I'll fix it now. All right. Yeah, they're back. All right. I love you too. <laughs> that was Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger. No way. Yes way. And you're not going to like this, Jeff. Apparently, it is illegal in the state of California to give a robot skeleton the Christmas present of testicles before Christmas. <laughs> the thing is, I've got to take your testicles, Jeff, and you can't get them back till Christmas morning. No kidding. Actually, in this case, no. Balls. Yep, balls. They're going over here. I'm sorry, you'll get them back at Christmas Day. No. <laughs> and so this is Christmas. Uh, every uh, month or so, really, uh, every six weeks or so, these gentlemen turn up wearing outfits. So they live nearby in some dumpster. And, uh, <laughs> all right, guys, well, uh, I wish you Merry Christmas this year, and uh, maybe next year you could stop smoking marijuana, get some, uh, get some uh, jobs, and stop coming here. <laughs> Uh, a quick program note, though, for you and for everyone else. This is our last show before Christmas. We're not on tomorrow. That is our gift to you. <laughs> the truth is, I'm, I'm glad the Christmas season is almost over, but not as glad as the people who work at Starbucks, <laughs> where they've been listening to Christmas music playing since July the 4th. <laughs> you imagine working at Starbucks, listening to that crap over and over again. I'd be ready to pour hot coffee in my ears. <laughs> but worth it! Sometimes I can hear Christmas music even when it's not playing. It's like I have an upbeat mental illness. <laughs> I'm sure somebody out there thinks I'm a Scrooge because I don't love Christmas music. Come on, Craig, I can hear you say in your upbeat, perky voice. <laughs> Get into the holiday spirit. I've got plenty of holiday spirit. My front door is decorated with one of those giant novelty candy canes, so when the car carolers arrive, I've got something to beat them over the head. <laughs> It annoys me when people call you a Scrooge just because you don't partake in forced merriment. I am not a Scrooge because I don't hang mistletoe everywhere. I am not a Scrooge because I don't wear a Christmas sweater. I am not a Scrooge because I pooped in somebody's stocking at the CBS holiday party. Naughty. Probably shouldn't have said that last time. 
Anyway, I'm taking a stand. What I, I, what I want to say is I want to make this place a safe place for everyone who's called Scrooge. It's okay if you're unhappy. This is a safe place for you to be miserable. <laughs> you, you have a right to be grumpy. You obviously, you can't sleep. Uh, you, you, you don't or can't afford cable. <laughs> You're my people, come on in. <laughs> and I remember, Ebenezer Scrooge wasn't a, a curmudgeon who didn't feel like going to another Christmas party. He was a miser and a bad person who wouldn't pay for a little boy's operation. I haven't done any of that this year. <laughs> I haven't done much of that this year. I don't think it's being a Scrooge to believe that crazy, out-of-control Christmas excitement should be left for the young. I think that it's for young people. I remember when I was a kid, I would go nuts for Santa. We'd leave out refreshments at Christmas Eve for him, a plate of cookies and a glass of whiskey, and the next morning... <laughs> Uh-oh, unexpected laugh. Why? Whiskey? I'm from Scotland! <laughs> it's... Two nights! Two nights before Christmas. It is Christmas Eve Eve. <laughs> Twas two nights before Christmas, and with festive demeanor, Brett Favre was sending out texts of his wiener. <laughs> That's my Christmas poem.